This is not a recording studio. some of that clip in here, if not all of it. I'm talking in my bathroom that I made for the GoFundMe. Um, no, I won't put a lot in because I've put it on the channel as a way of hosting it. So. Like anybody, the idea of money coming in to help with a problem has always been attractive. But I never felt like it was right to ask strangers to help you financially with ordinary, predictable costs and expenses. You know, like getting a pet spade, for instance. You know, paying for a vet's emergency after someone's hit it, I get that. Or if your vet has come down with a deadly, unexpected disease, again, it's a surprise. You know, I don't think GoFundMe should be used to cover the cost of licensing your car or necessarily even buying a car unless like you know your elderly mother needs to be ferried from point A to point B and you can't afford one now you know so like it's, it's circumstances so well, many times in my life I thought oh you know imagine if I could do a GoFundMe to build the bus no I gotta do that out of pocket oh a GoFundMe to fix up my kitchen I really got to do that out of pocket, even though there's no way I'll ever be able to afford to fix up the kitchen. But then maybe I can. And here's the thing. If I had my health, I could do most of it myself. I might have to get someone to help me tear the old cupboards out. But, you know, each cupboard, like we bought one cupboard in this kitchen for 100, 110 bucks. So if we did the work ourselves, we could probably do it for under a thousand. And so I, I no go fund me for the kitchen bathroom. The bathroom's been waiting a long time. It's a very difficult project. Um, just, just the pure demolition is the difficult part. It requires such extreme physicality. Dan's got the muscles for it, but he doesn't have the time, nor does he have the drive. He doesn't have the, doesn't have the drive. He's not going to start a job like that, ever. He's going to agree to, I mean, you could get him to the point where he says, yes, I will do that today. And when six o'clock comes around, he says, well, I had all this other stuff to do. I had to plan first, didn't I? It's too late now. And so the next day, he's like, yeah, I'm going to do it. And he'll assemble all his tools and then he'll do some more research, which will also involve a lot of reading the news. Um, now you can sit there and go, well, he's got to get his act together. Meanwhile, I'm dying from the mold over here. The man pays the bills. He works his ass off to do that. He's gone most evenings and most weekends. He's at work right now. It's a Saturday. And he's working. He may well work tomorrow, although he generally has a Sunday off. Man's got to have a day to rest. So I feel like in that sense, it's legitimate to ask for help. I tried asking for help, just someone to come. And it soon became apparent that anyone who, who has the ability to come help, ability and willingness to help me, will need help with the airfare. That's if they have a passport. Most of them are in the States. So, yeah, I 
finally thought about it. I thought, you know, the black mold is literally killing me. One lung nodule at a time. I'm very sick from it. I cough a lot. I tend to keep that to myself. I, I really don't like people who spend a lot of time whining about their health, and I constantly worry if I mention it that I've mentioned it too often because I can never remember how often I've done my whining. So I don't know if you are aware of how sick I am. At any rate, I kind of thought about it, and I thought, you know, I think this qualifies as a valid situation. Black mold in there has already done a lot of damage. It's doing more damage. Who knows what it's going to do to Dan eventually. He doesn't spend as much time in the house. He doesn't spend as much time in the bathroom. But he does sit there at least once a day. He spends at least an hour a day in there. So he's susceptible too. And of course our pets who don't spend any time in the bathroom are still sharing the same air in the same house. So I don't think this is something that I can just wait another 10 years on. It's been 25 years. 1994 is when I, well, 95 is when I renovated that bathroom. When I first, you know, when I painted it. And there was already mold in the walls. And at that time, there really wasn't a lot of information about, about the mold. And certainly there was no internet to tell you yet. The internet was just getting started. And it was mostly just companies that wanted you to, wanted another avenue for advertising. There was very little internet. So I had no way of knowing at the time that the moldy smell was a serious problem that I should go deeper. I wish I had. I had the energy then. And I wouldn't, I, who knows, maybe I wouldn't have got the cancer. I certainly wouldn't have got the asthma. I'm sure of that now. I used to blame it on my marijuana smoking, but none of the other marijuana smokers I know my age have this problem. But... Every one of my symptoms teams up with the symptoms of mold toxicity. I'm dying from the black mold. It's killing me. Um, it's fortunately doing it slow enough that I can do something about it. So, the GoFundMe is going up. And I feel okay about it. I don't know if you agree with me. I suppose if you do, you'll donate money. And if you don't, you won't. And if you really disagree, you might comment something. And you know, I'd like that. It's good for my uh, channel metrics if you comment negative stuff or positive stuff. The software doesn't care, so go for it. Tell me what you think, please. I'd love to hear it anyway. It's interesting, and I love to argue when I get a good opportunity. You know, when arguing isn't going to make the room toxic, when arguing doesn't make the situation toxic, and it doesn't make the relationship toxic, and it doesn't upset the people around me. Oh my, do I love to argue. Um, you know, I mean, I'm so flippin' woke, I can't even argue properly anymore. That's the trouble with being too aware of too much. I like the word woke, when you woke as fuck. Yeah, when you're so woke, you can't have breakfast without thinking about the chickens. That's how woke I am. <laughs> ah, I gotta turn off the camera. I really don't have much to say. So, this is how I'm taking a bath. Got my towels hung up. The beautiful sky above. Sheltered and shielded, of course. This is my bath supplies box, but I have everything I'm using already laid out. This is heating the water. And in fact, the water is quite nice. I think it'll be all right. It's a little chair to sit on when I moisturize and stuff. And that's how I'm getting by without a tub. I still have a tub. This is how I'm going to do it when I'm living in the bus. I could do that in the back of the bus, or I could do that in a private tent on the outside. actually quite a nice little soak. Yeah. Well, I did it. Isn't she pretty? Look at her sparkle. This is the one that got my attention in the first place. Because it was priced at $3.50, I said, no, I don't even play accordion. And I bought the other one. Which, the musical instrument repair guy says he could sell in his shop for up to $2.50. 
So then I'd get half that, and that would pay me back for what I put into it. As for this, I talked them down to 250, and I paid them 250, and I, because I actually really do want to learn to play accordion. And before I bought it, before they even knew I was there, I snuck my way back while they were busy with other customers, and pulled the pins, and looked inside, and there's about half a dozen leathers that are slightly tired on this side, but. <laughs> This is a library book I picked up today. You can teach yourself accordion. I'm gonna just photograph all the pages. Load them onto my computer. like to watch my fingers fun fumble but this is how it feels to work this hard it's moments like that to keep me encouraged every now and then my brain just knows what it's doing, and I stop having to try and pay attention to everything. So, with the bass buttons, um, I'm even going to have to learn what chords mean. What are, you know, I'm going to have to learn chord theory, music theory about chords, because I always played flute. The only, the only courses I ever took that involved sheet music always involved single voice solo instruments like a flute and um, never did involve having to work out recording like this or like a guitar so that's going to be one of my challenges is to understand how recording works it would actually be easier to understand and teach my hand than it would to learn to keep track of two lines on a sheet of music one for each hand do know that my ear ha if my ear can learn it because even when I played by sheet I only used it to get feel of the music then when I knew what the song sounded like especially if I was playing it with other people I stopped using the sheet music for anything more than a cheat sheet and I played by ear which I think is what you want to do isn't she pretty yeah she's the color of beer I can learn to play this.
It's not good enough for anyone else to hear. Just sing, sing a song. Sing, sing a song. 